today's topic, you are, who are you? Now, one of my mentors, may he rest in peace, is Jim Rohn. And you may have heard this positive quote before, or just this quote before. And that is, you are the average of the five, get my hand in there, people you spend the most time with. I'll say that again. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, I'm gearing this message toward the youth, especially those who just graduated. Because as you go on in life, you will notice that the people you surround yourself with is going to determine, they are going to determine who you become. And that's what it's all about. It's about who you become. So it doesn't matter how smart you are, how talented, how many skills you have. Uh, where you were born or which family you were born in all that counts is if you want to be successful and success can be measured in different ways it doesn't have to be tied to monetary it's all about who you surround yourself with um, I have a, a quick story I'd like to share with you well let me back that story up by letting you know about uh, a couple weeks ago I had the pleasure of teaching us early morning sorry Early morning seminary class. Thank you. I was throwing that S in there for seminary. Early mornings. Early morning seminary class. Basically, it's a Bible study. If you do not know, um, this year they were studying the Bible. But at any rate, I shared with the students who are high school students a story of my, at one time, my best friend. His name was Miss Yonga. Um, when I first moved to Hawaii, I went to seminary, you know, first thing, you know, get really excited, start my junior year in high school. And of course, as was the pattern when I lived in the mainland, I went to seminary first. Well, we moved to Kunia, which is above the Walmart. Any, at any rate, I attended Waipahu High School. That's my point. Across from, from Waipahu High School was the LDS Church, or still is the LDS Church building. Uh, Waipahu, I believe it's the State Center. So we attended seminary class, and uh, that's where I met my friend, Miss Yonga. Really cool cat, you know, to himself. Loves singing. That guy could sing. Um, obviously, in the right place at the right time, he was at seminary. And uh, we hit it off really quickly. We started hanging out. Uh, he came over. He was very busy with his family. They had a cleaning business. But we hung out, and uh, we became really good friends. My best friend in Hawaii. Um, he showed me the Manapua truck. Anybody here know what the Manapua truck is? Let's see here. I see a lot of people from Hawaii. Anyway, not from Hawaii know what it is? You got to know what it is. <laughs> Breakfast of Champions. But he showed me around. Took me over across the street to Waipahu, you know. Got me acclimated. Uh, and we became really good friends. Now, that was junior year. Uh, around senior year, he started to hang around uh, a group of different friends I'll just say different friends different because they had different goals in life they had different choices that they were making they had different things that they liked um, namely uh, they, they liked drugs um, they were calling themselves a gang and he started to change he, he stopped coming to early morning seminary he was totally different from the year before um, but at the end of the senior year fast forward 1995, we're just graduating. Uh, and this is why this comes up, because of the graduation last night. He approached these guys. I think there was just two or three of them. And he said, hey, you know what? Um, I'm tired of doing what we're doing, which is basically hanging out, calling themselves a gang. I was like, how do you call yourself a gang with just three people? But I guess, you know, like whatever. <laughs> uh, doing the drugs, hanging out, not making right choices. Um, and he approached them. He said, I do not want to do this anymore. So what did they say? They said, well, since we're a gang, uh, there's initiation to get you in. We have to initiate you, I guess. No, no, it's not initiation. We have to kick you out. So there's a, uh, there's something that we got to do to kick you out. And that is, we all got to take turns beating you up. Now, as silly as it sounds, he kind of went, he just said, okay, you know, cause I want to change my life. He knew that he was graduating and that he wanted to, according to his uncle, uh, I talked with him, he said he wanted to go on his mission. So in order to go on your mission, 
for the LDS church, full-time LDS church. You gotta stop, you, you can't be doing drugs. You can't be hanging out with a group like that. And of course, you know, you gotta go to church. So he was making the steps. Basically, he was taking the time to correct what he was doing, which was wrong, so that he can go on a full-time mission. And so he agreed. Um, I wish he didn't, but he agreed to these, the plan that these guys had, which was, we gotta kick you out of the, the gang same way we kicked you into the gang or brought you into the gang, and that is to beat you up. So he allowed these people to beat him up. I'm not gonna name their names. You can look it up in the news, happened in 1995 in Waipahu, um, by the rec center, in the field next to the rec center, and they beat him up and kept beating him up until he died and laid there dead in the field next to the rec center overnight. There were some witnesses there were people that are telling them to stop beating him. He was beat so bad that his whole head was black and blue and swollen. That's how bad they beat him. His so-called friends at the time. Um, I remember remember participating in his, his funeral. And I remember thinking, man, totally different from two, just two years ago. Two years prior. About this, this young man who had so much going for him. I mean, his his voice alone, he was, like I said, he was a great singer, but more important, more importantly, he wanted to make some changes so that he could serve the Lord. And who knows, maybe he's serving the Lord right now, but um, not here on earth because of the choices that he made. So I just wanted to share some steps with you that could help you. Once again, this is geared toward the youth, especially those who just graduated. Hey, it can be geared toward even the younger people or even some of you older generators or the older generation. Um, take inventory. Who are you? Who are the five people that you spend the most time, most time with? Who are they? What do they do with their lives? How ambitious are they? How happy are they? How motivated are they? How optimistic are these people? How positive are these people? Now evaluate carefully. Make the choice. And don't be afraid to change. So how how do I change? I mean, I've been hanging out with these people for so long. I, I told these students in the seminary class, you have the break every year, right? It's the summer vacation. That's a great opportunity to say, you know what? I'm going to leave all that behind. Whoever I was hanging out with before, when we start new, I'm just going to start hanging out with different people. It's possible. I mean, you have that break to, you know, kind of just, and you know, people will come up to you and be like, man, you changed, man. But it's all good because that's who you want to become, right? Well, what if you're not in school? What if you don't have that break that you can use to start saying, you know, I'm going to hang out with people that uplift me, that rather than drag me down. It's, it's really easy. You just decrease slowly over time the amount of time that you hang out with people that you don't want to hang out with and increase the amount of time slowly over time, the amount of time you hang, hang out with people that you want to hang out with or that uplift you, that inspire you, that motivate you. So basically to wrap this up, remember that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you got value out of this, please share this. Um, with your friends and your family members. That's all I ask. There's something that I like to give back. Doesn't cost any money. Just something that we just have too much negativity in our lives. It's about time that we share some positivity. Thank you for joining me. We will see you next week for our next topic. Have a blessed day.